staying in the Big 12. Baylor 31, Texas 24. And to, uh, Baylor, brother, Jeff Grimes, uh, they, they, real. they highlighted him for like the majority of that broadcast. Yeah, every time I looked over, they had a camera on him and not Dave Aranda. And, and what he's doing with Jerry Bohannon and in yeah. the running game and everything. I mean, it was – this, this is this is where this is where Dave Aranda is going to struggle. Is is somebody's going to give that guy a job at the end of this year, and then you're going to have to try to rehire him. I'm a guy that I've spent my entire life loving defense, thinking it's just as important, if not more important, than offense. And I want a capable, competent coach, and I think these defensive guys should get an opportunity. And now, good luck, good luck, because if you ever have not even a great the offense, if you just have a good one. It's somebody snagging your OC and they're taking him on. Yeah. And then you got to hope you can replace him. And then you got to hope that new guy can recruit the way the old guy recruited. And you just, it's just hard. It's it, it just is. really, really hard. If I was a president and if I was an AD, it you would have to be a hell of a football coach. I'm talking a hell of a football coach for me to not hire you and, and you not be the offensive play caller. Yeah. Storyline of the game, Baylor won yardage 427 to 382. Yards per play, 5.8 to 5.7. They won third downs, 42% to 21%. They uh, they doubled them up in yardage, basically, one or uh, in rushing yards, 192 to 102. They won drive points, drives of 60-plus yards or more, 21 to 17. Turnovers were even, but Texas was 2 of 5 on fourth downs. Those are three more basic turnovers. And uh, and Baylor was 1 out of 2 on fourth down. The, the Longhorns' second half, like the adjustments that teams make, against Texas at halftime is becoming an issue. They they did nothing in the second half. B. B. John Robinson is their offense. Case Thompson didn't have a great day. B. John is their offense. And if you have a really good defense that can bottle him up and just contain him, nobody's stopping that guy, but just contain him and slow him down a little bit, get off on third down every now and then, you can stop their offense, man. Yeah. I mean, he's 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 all they got. But he and he's something special. But he's all they got. This was Baylor was one of my big picks this weekend on, on my, my Twitter show yesterday. And I had four different people before this game started say, do you really think Baylor's legit? Do you really think Baylor's legit? I was like, yeah, man, I think they're good. I, now, I was expecting to be big wrong because every time I've kind of made a bold proclamation, like it's been pretty way off. It, it was exactly the way I thought it was. If you can contain Bijan. I thought Casey Thompson was really special when he first came out. I think I think teams are figuring out ways to slow that guy down. If you can yeah. make him throw the football, you can beat him. If yes. he gets loose and you don't know who's running the ball, him or Bijan, they're really hard to stop. You just make him throw the football. If he doesn't hand it off, you you keep him in the pocket. I think you can beat him. John Third Hit came in on YouTube said Baylor's for real. Baylor they are. is for real. They are. Uh, they're the best team in this conference. Smith for Baylor. Had 20 carries, 113 yards, and one touchdown rushing. Ebner had 12 carries for 66 yards. Both of those guys outrushed Bijan Robinson. Bijan had yep. 17 carries for 43 yards. He did have one touchdown. Uh, Jerry Bohannon even outrushed him as far as yards per play. He averaged 5.4 carries on five attempts, so that's 27 yards. He did have one touchdown rushing. This was this was crazy. Casey Thompson, you know, put up numbers. I guess 23 out of 38 passing, 280 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Uh, but the one pick was was serious and. You know, this this was – Baylor's a really good football team. Man. They're a really <laughs> good football team. What Dave Aranda's doing is pretty unbelievable. He's built this team. In two weeks, Oklahoma goes to Baylor. Yes. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to see that matchup. Let's move that, into – I'm going to tell you this, that game day might go there. Yeah. Yes. They I'm should. Trying to look, I'm, looking through, I'm looking through that schedule. You Isn't that November 13th? For, yeah, you've got Wake Forest hosted NC State. Yeah. If Wake Forest is in, in undefeated, man, that might be a good opportunity to go showcase them because they're what they're doing is pretty special, and somebody needs to showcase them. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see. We, we still got another week of games uh, before we get there. Who does hey, Who does Wake Forest have this week? Do you know? Before I jump into, I don't know. Season? I was looking. I was trying to look at that other week to see are there any other games worthy of going. And there's there's nothing close on the schedule. I mean, everything else is nothing you would want to go to. Get to this week. Hang on, shit. Let's see. Wake Forest. Let's see. see. They got North Carolina at right. North Carolina. So they they play at North Carolina this week. It's 11 a.m. game. And then they got and then they got NC State next. I mean, you you can always get caught by North Carolina, but uh, 
Because I would imagine that'll be a, a shootout, but we'll see. I don't think uh, North Carolina is very good, but we disagree on that. Uh, you you disagree that North Carolina is not very good? No, I, we disagree that that's going to be a shootout. I think one team's going to do a lot of shooting. Okay, and I think the other team's not going to stop them. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, moving. There's back nobody in, in the ACC that's slowing down Wake Forest. I, I tend to agree. I tend There's to not agree. a defense that's holding them within fifty. Okay. Okay. I can get down with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.